Welcome back to Master Glass. I'm your host, Livio, and on this episode, I am gonna show you how to make not only a beautiful painkiller cocktail, but also the tastiest one I've ever had. So let's get into it. It's great to have you all here today. I'm gonna to show you how to make the painkiller cocktail the master glass way. Why do I say the master glass way? Well, because there's really no definitive recipe of this drink, uh, only the people at the Soggy Dollar know. And uh, so I'm gonna show you my version of it and why. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray a little bit of saline solution in the glass. And why am I doing that? Because I'm imagining myself being at the Soggy Dollar on the British Virgin Islands. It's tropical and it's there's those salty winds going on. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and fill my tin with ice. By the way, if you love pina coladas, you're going to love this cocktail. Sounds like Livio's ready to sing a really cheesy song. If, if you like pina coladas. Diving right in, recipe or ingredient number one is two ounces of Pusser's rum. I keep it at the two ounce, even though this recipe from a liquid standpoint is gonna be a little bit shorter. And I'll explain why a little bit later. So after the two ounces or 60 mils of Pusser rum, I'm gonna add the exact same amount, two ounces or 60 mils of pineapple juice. Just like that. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one ounce or 30 mils of fresh OJ, fresh please. There we go. And last but not least, I'm gonna use one ounce of the Liquid Act Alchemist Coconut Syrup. And what I really love about this product here is this is just coconut cream, coconut milk, and cane sugar. So no dairy, uh, easy to use, even though I spilled a little bit, as you can see here. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some ice. I'm using a crushed ice. Uh, and I'm gonna not top it all the way. I'm gonna leave it right at about just there, maybe two thirds of the glass. And then I'm gonna give this a shake. Okay, I'm not gonna shake it a lot uh, because there's going to be a lot of ice inside of the glass already. So I don't wanna get a recipe that's not gonna fit in my glass. There we go, just like that. Okay, set that aside, set that over here. A little bit of OCD, let's clean the bar up. Okay, so now when it's time to garnish the drink, uh, a few things that I wanna do is first, I wanna check my ice level. I think that can probably use just a little tad more. So I'm gonna add that in on top. One of the reasons why I chose the taller glass was because I really wanted to put a dehydrated pineapple garnish in here. Uh, this drink often calls for a fresh pineapple wedge and that fresh pineapple wedge just, you're gonna have to cut a whole pineapple just to get a wedge. Even if you're making 10 of these, you're still left with 80% pineapple left. Then what are you gonna do with it if you don't want to eat it? Uh, the other thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a little orange just for a change of color. And last but not least, why not also add a mint top? Why? Just because that aroma, and I love that combination of color between the green, the orange, and the red from the uh, dehydrated pineapple. Last but not least, a little grate of fresh nutmeg. Just like that. For the camera. And there you have it. Now, the cool thing about this cocktail, uh, there's a lot of things we don't know about it and a few things we do know. What do we know? We know that it was created at the Soggy Dollar. The name of the bar is the Soggy Dollar because there was no dock. So in order to get to the bar, you had to dive into the water and that meant that your dollar was going to be wet. Uh, we know that the Soggy Dollar folks, for obvious reasons, didn't really share their recipe with a lot of people. And so most recipes of this cocktail is pure speculation. Uh, we also know that Pusser's uh, is the rum that basically brought a lot of awareness to this cocktail. So 
They're not sponsoring the show today, but I am using uh, their rum just because it actually does do a really good job inside of this drink. Um, what else is there to mention? I think that's it. I think the next thing to really mention is that I should put a straw in here. Now, I made this version with the 2-2-1-1 because most recipes that you see out there, you're gonna need a gigantic glass. And you might say, well, that's not a problem. We'll just drink more. Uh, the thing is, is that those versions aren't very boozy. Now, a drink that's called the painkiller cocktail, it needs to have some booze in it. So, I'm gonna give this one a try. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm. I just wish you could taste this recipe right here. It is a literally a orange spiced pina colada, right? If I were to explain it, but with the dark rum, so it's got a little bit more of that um, caramelly dark sweet note to it. Um, the salinity from the uh, saline solution that I uh, sprayed in it is really just making things just a tad more bright. And so I believe right there that that not only is the most beautiful painkiller I've seen, now I've took a sip of it, so not anymore, but it is also the tastiest version. So if you liked this episode of Master Glass, please do share and please subscribe to the channel. I would highly appreciate it because on Master Glass, we don't just talk about cocktails, we talk about history, we talk about culture, and we talk about tradition. Thanks for watching.